Here's an example of a hyper nano image. It's 2 microns by 2 microns. The topography here shows a series of mounds from 10 to 30 nanometers in height on a smooth background. We knew that the sample should be composed of polystyrene and polymethyl methacrylate, so we took a hyper image from 1400 to 1800 wave numbers, which includes absorption peaks for both of those materials. Each pixel is a 400 wave number PIFM spectrum, as you can see when we drag the blue point around here. It looks like there is a difference between the spectra on the mounds and on the low regions. If we add an additional red point, we can see them both at the same time. We can improve the signal to noise by averaging over many pixels. We select a blue circle and then set the blue spectrum to show the average over that area. And then do the same for the red. The low regions, the blue line, have a peak around 1730 wave numbers, which matches the absorption profile for polymethyl methacrylate while the bump, which is the red line, has a peak at 1490 and 1450 wave numbers, the absorption profile for polystyrene. This image is being generated by summing only the part of the spectrum inside of these blue lines. If we drag it here to the peak at 1730, we get an image where the low regions are bright, or absorbing strongly, and the bumps are dark, or absorbing weakly. If we move the selection to the next image so that it is centered on the 1490 peak, we get an inverse image. The bumps are absorbing strongly, and the bottom layer not very much. So we have a smooth bottom layer of polymethyl methacrylate, covered in lumps of polystyrene. Hypernano images like this can be used to identify the distribution of any materials that have absorption bands in the IR and have heterogeneous nanoscale features.